Hello everybody, I'm Lisa and welcome to my YouTube videos coming to you once again from the beautiful state of Ohio. One of the things that I do in my day, given the opportunity and a little bit of quiet time, is write. Not lengthy suspense novels or romance novels, but children's stories. My inspiration were my three sons when they were very young and I had the privilege of sitting and listening to them talk and play out of their imaginations. So one day I began to wonder whether or not there was a story or two in my own, so I picked up a pencil and piece of paper and I began to write. And one of the things that I have written is Mrs. Topper, Her Hats, and Tea. And I would like to dedicate this story to my three very young granddaughters, Lorelai and Abigail, who live in the state of Nevada with their mom and dad, and baby August, who lives back home in Texas with her mom and dad. And the story goes like this. It was two o'clock and time for tea at Mrs. Topper's house. William and Sarah visited Mrs. Topper every afternoon. Each day, Mrs. Topper would put on a different hat for their lesson. What was the lesson? The lesson was on manners, taught every day over afternoon tea. The door opened and there stood Mrs. Topper wearing her hat and dressed for tea. Tell us, William and Sarah asked, what hat are you wearing today? Today I am wearing my please hat. Won't the two of you please come in? William and Sarah stepped inside and there the table was set for tea. Won't you please sit down, said Mrs. Topper, motioning with her hand towards the table. William and Sarah sat down. Mrs. Topper sat across from them and poured the cups with tea. Would you like one lump of sugar or two, Mrs. Topper asked. Two, please, said Sarah. Two, please, said William. So the three of them popped open their napkins, laid them across their laps, and quietly sipped their tea. The next day, William and Sarah returned to Mrs. Topper's house for afternoon tea. Please tell us, William and Sarah asked, what hat are you wearing today? Today, she said, I'm wearing my thank you hat. Won't the two of you please come in? William and Sarah sat down as Mrs. Topper poured the cups with tea. Thank you, said Sarah, picking up her cup. Thank you, said William, as he took a sip of tea. Would either of you like a biscuit? asked Mrs. Topper. Yes, please and thank you, said Sarah. Yes, please and thank you, said William. With their napkins on their laps, the three of them quietly nibbled their biscuits and sipped their tea. The next day, William and Sarah returned to Mrs. Topper's house for afternoon tea. Please tell us, William and Sarah asked, what hat are you wearing today? Today I am wearing my compliment hat, said Mrs. Topper. My, what a lovely dress you have on today, Sarah. And what a nice jacket you are wearing, William. Won't the two of you please come in? Yes, and thank you, said Sarah and William. As they sipped their tea and nibbled their biscuits, Sarah said, The biscuits are simply delicious, Mrs. Topper. The tea is very good, too, said William. I thank you both for your compliment, said Mrs. Topper, and all three of them nibbled their biscuits and sipped their tea. The next day, William and Sarah returned to Mrs. Topper's house for afternoon tea. Please tell us, William and Sarah asked, What hat are you wearing today? Today I am wearing my May I hat, said Mrs. Topper. Won't the two of you please come in? As they sat at the table, Mrs. Topper asked, May I pour you a cup of tea, Sarah? Yes, please, said Sarah. And may I have two lumps of sugar, she asked. Yes, Sarah, you may, said Mrs. Topper. May I pour you a cup of tea, William? Yes, please, said William. And may I have a biscuit, too, he asked. Yes, William, you may, said Mrs. Topper. As the three of them sat quietly with their napkins on their laps, they nibbled their biscuits and sipped their tea. The next day, William and Sarah returned to Mrs. Topper's house for afternoon tea. Please tell us, William and Sarah asked, what hat are you wearing today? Today I am wearing my courtesy hat, said Mrs. Topper. Please come in. 
So Mrs. Topper stepped back and held wide the door for William and Sarah as they stepped inside. At the tea table, William stepped to the back of Sarah's chair and gently pulled it from the table. May I hold your chair, Sarah? William asked. Yes, please, and thank you, said Sarah, smoothing her dress under her as she sat down. Mrs. Topper watched with much happiness as Sarah was such a lady and William was such a gentleman. May I hold your chair, Mrs. Topper, William asked. Yes, please and thank you, William, said Mrs. Topper. Mrs. Topper poured the tea and handed the biscuits. The three of them popped their napkins, laid them across their laps, quietly nibbled their biscuits, and sipped their tea. This is Lisa from Ohio wishing you all a very pleasant day. And remember, this is what I do. But as always, it works for me. Good day.